Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Jade Falcon Freeborn. All right, our financial goals right now are our financial payments, right? 2.26 million a month. So we need to start generating some C-bills. We need to start generating them fast. So what I'd like to do, I don't want to get rid of any of our max. I still want to work with what we have. Uh, I think the biggest issue that we have right now is that we're still technically allied with Jade Falcon. And I don't feel that bad in breaking the alliance only because it, I don't really feel like it's a broken alliance. Um, I feel like it would just be like we're stranded in the inner sphere. I mean, like, look at this, right? This is all Ghost Bear. Diamond Shark, Snow Raven. I mean, it's like, like you can see what I mean here. Who's here? Smoke Jaguar. There's like, like no one left really. Wolf is like, just here. This map is quiet. So, uh, once the new, uh, once we get into the new uh, version, we can worry about uh, what we're gonna do there. But we're gonna break our contract, and we're gonna actually ally ourselves right now with Saint Ives Compact. We're gonna settle down in Saint Ives, I think, right now. Um, there really isn't much else we can do. So let's go to uh, the rep, and we're going to have to break our contract with uh, with um, Jade Falcon, I think. There's not much else we can really do at this point. So we're going to break our alliance here. Um, it's not really breaking the alliance. We're stranded, right? We're stranded in the inner sphere. So now we have to start making um, some friends so we can get some good missions. So what we can do, though, uh, if we have a look at the command center and contracts here, we do have a few missions we can take here. So we've got uh, capturing production, um, which is for local government. We can make some good sea bills off this against some pirates. And then cleaning out the mercs, uh, we can do for St. Ives Compact. So I think we'll do these two today and then jump into the St. Ives territory um, for more missions. And we, we do have the, uh, the uh, firepower to do this. But what we need to do, though, is get our pilots back first. Um, so we just need to wait a few days for that. And we'll get some mechs back. But what I want to do also too, let's wait one day here. Okay, now we got, yeah, okay, just the dire wolf. So I want to go to the mech bays. And let's get this up and running. Okay, so we're going to scrap these guys. Didn't we scrap these last episode? Why didn't it load in without scrapping these? I thought for sure we scrapped these last episode. What the hell? Uh, that's weird. This did I did not did I not save it? That can't be right. Maybe I did. I thought I saved on exit. Maybe I didn't save on exiting. That's kind of weird. Uh, anyway, the uh, Yerman Gundir we're gonna get is a missile boat and long range fire support. Uh, I think probably we're going to end up putting aero systems in this guy. So um, the Zeus right now, let's have a look. I want to refit this guy. Uh, the Thumper was causing problems. Um, so I think we replaced that. We replaced the arrow and the LRM5 on this guy. Uh, we're not going to necessarily have to do that right now, but that's what we're going to do. Um, put a couple of auto cannons in this arm and maybe a couple of LRM-20s or a couple of LRM-15s in this arm. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But this guy needs to be redone. Um, and then the Jormund Gundir needs to be upgraded or fixed up. Um, I think the aero systems are what's going to drop in this guy. Um, I'm pretty sure that's what we're going to do is drop LRMs or uh, a couple of aero systems in here. Maybe some LRMs too. I don't know. We'll have to see how it goes. King Crab definitely needs to be repaired and fixed up. Uh, we lost some Rack-20 ammo. But uh, it'll just sit there for now. Um, dire Wolf's out for 35 days. Not much we can do about that. So let's get our pilots back. Um, just four days, I think it was. There we go. Everyone's back now, with the exception of Avalanche. That's fine. All right, so um, let's go and take the Five Skull one first against the Pirates. And I don't think we're going to get a whole lot of um, competition and chance to get good salvage off the pirates. So we're just going to go in and smash these guys. So I'm going to go more sea bills this time. I mean, we can still sell stuff, but I really want to start getting um, some good sea bills in the bank so we can start fixing up our mechs. Um, so let's get our guys in here. Griff, Mockingbird, Six Pack, and Rhino. Um, and we want to go 
with the same loadout. I have really no idea what we're up against here. And I think what we'll do is we'll just give Griff the, um, where are you here, the Mjolnir. And go this way. All right. Sure, we kind of facilities defenses from a defensible position, you think? All right. Have I even played on this map before? I'm sure I have, but I just don't remember. Standing by. Um, as we get started here and start making our way down, I just want to thank everybody for their support. Um, watching the videos and stuff like that, uh, commenting and suggesting, it really means a lot. I really appreciate you guys uh, uh, enjoying the content and stuff. Um, rest assured, uh, Night Witches is not done either. Uh, we're still going to be going with them. I want to try and at least give these guys a, um, or both uh, both groups, a uh, nice retirement. They've done, they've done really, really well. So we're going to look for a place for both of them to retire on. Uh, Marauder 2, Pirate Alicorn, Marauder, LRM Carrier Mark 2. Um, this guy has got three Gauss rifles, so this is the one we need to target. With a Warlord attack, I think. And maybe we can shred him. Um, yeah, so as I was saying, I really, really appreciate all the support and all the comments. Um, I'm hoping that the next uh, version of um, of uh, Rogue Tech is just as fun as this one. I'm sure it will be. But regardless, you know, I mean, we're going to have a good time. Um, I am going to branch out into different uh, games as well. I'm not necessarily getting tired of Battletech. I love Battletech. Um, but I do want to play other games as well. So I've been playing the Seven Days to Die series. It's, um, how did I miss two of those? Enemy critical damage detected. It's, um, it's a little bit like my invasion series for Minecraft. Um, it's basically hunting for resources and doing your build and stuff. Yeah, you deserve that, Griff. Um, but in a zombie kind of apocalyptic kind of world. So, you know. Let's get down here. See if we can finish this guy up. Yeah, really bad chances to hit, but we'll take them. Not quite enough, eh? Wow. Um, but yeah, no, it's a lot of fun to play, I gotta say. And I'm just gonna be batch recording that. So I, like, it was Father's Day this weekend, so, you know, I batch recorded like 10 episodes or something like that. So I'll just be releasing them as I go along, uh, one a day for the next little while. I don't expect there to be lots of viewership on it, but. That's fine. I mean, I just play the game because I enjoy it. Same reason why I play Battletech. I just enjoy the game, right? That's what my channel's all about. Just having fun. What's up, boss? Um, that Marauder 2 needs to be taken care of. Let's get up over here. Let's do some taking care of this guy. Yeah, man. Someone's not having a good day. But yeah, you know, if you guys have any suggestions for games you'd like to see me play, I mean, I don't know. Feel free to drop them in the comment section down below. I mean, I might play. I might play them. I might not. I've got. I've kind of got the variety of games that I like to play. You know, I like uh, base builder games. Uh, I like strategy games, like turn-based strategy. Um, just hammer this guy with everything. Um, you know, all kinds of stuff like that. I was looking at the their most recent close combat game that's coming out. That actually kind of looks kind of cool. I, I, re I remember playing the very, very first close combat a long, long time ago. Um... There we go. Um, and it was pretty darn cool. I remember I played that over and over and over again. It was so awesome. The Germans always ended up losing in the end, but I mean still. Enemy unit destroyed. But I always played the Germans in that one. I still remember holding off 
hordes of Russian tanks with just 188. Put an 88 in a building, and as soon as a Russian tank would appear over here, we would just hammer it. And I remember, I don't know, we, I don't know how many tanks we killed with that 88. It was a ton of them. And then finally the last two decided not to come over the hill. And in order to win, I had to knock out the tanks, right? I'm like, how am I going to knock these guys out if they're not going to crest the hill? So I had to send my engineers in. I had like two units of infantry and one unit of engineers, and that was all I had, plus the 88. Uh, I think I had a Panzer IV at one point, and it got knocked out early. But, you know... So they ended up going over the hill and trying to take on the tanks, but they had enemy, there was enemy infantry there, and they ended up, you know, killing most of my guys, and that was pretty much the end, right? So, yeah, we lost that battle. But damn, fun game to play, I gotta say. Damn fun game to play. Which is why I'm looking at the new version of Close Combat. Enemy forces, eh? Yes, Commander. Let's hope so. We're really kind of hungry for fighting here. Time. Let's go. Good thing the mule near is fast like these uh mad cats. Order. I think the next mission we take. I'm gonna make it a challenge. Maybe just take only three mechs. Commander. That's where the dropship's landing, eh? Okay. Not yet, that is. Standing by. Gotcha. What's up, boss? Still thinking about swapping out that Ultra 20. For something with a little longer range firing and those two uh, heavy... Uh, those two heavy um, medium lasers. Alright, let's see if we get any more reinforcements here. Gonna put Griff in there. He's already taken damage, so. Ready for orders. Location confirmed. I've got eyes on hostile reinforcements. They're heading your way. All right. That's all right. Why do I think there's more guys over there too? Come on, guys. What are you doing? Exterminator? Okay. It's nice to be on a map I've never really played on before. Or if I have, I just don't remember it, you know? Cataphract. Cyclops. Marauder 2. Now, I think we've got Cyclops parts, don't we? He just landed, so he's going to be defended. This guy's not. Griff, what are you doing with those PPCs, man? Waiting for orders. I'm there. Ah, crap! Really? Yeah, they'll close on us, and then we'll finish them up. Waiting for orders. Um. Oh, one of those heavies hit. Waiting Never forward. saw that coming. All right, that's fine. Don't need, don't need to move too far. Uh, let's make this three. All right, one of those hit too. Nice. Let's see if we can pull the Cyclops' head off. Shoot him right in the eye. Thanks for showing up. Uh, 
Uh huh. Hit, yeah, but he's got a target acquired on you, girl. By. Do not want the target acquired. Let's just play the long game on these guys. Ooh. Yeah, man. Firing all weapons. <laughs> Mockingbird, marry me. You're so awesome. Oh. Although I don't know if I can handle that voice for the rest of my life, but still, still awesome. Come on, guys. Exterminator's trying to figure out where he's going to jump to. Just going to jump over there, are you? This isn't a bad, uh, this isn't a bad, um, what do you want to call it, matchup. Just shoot him in the eye. Shoot him in the eye! Yeah. Order. Can't do it twice. 39. 50, eh? Just shoot the cataphract. Uh, yeah. Ooh, nice. I think that was just an arm, though. You. I can tell by the number of hit points he's got left. Um, I want to try and headshot that cat. That, that, I think so. I'm gonna try and headshot the. Uh, The Cyclops, just because I'm, I'm crazy like that. Crazy like that, Uber like that, hitting like that. The melody is fat. I think that was a torso kill, though. Don't think we got his head. We may have. We'll find out when we get the parts. Parts is parts, my friend. Parts is parts. Come on. Where are you jumping to? Okay, why is it all on fire here again? Because we didn't shoot this guy. Maybe he sh I don't know. Whatever. I'll take the fire. Come on, buddy. Figure out where you're jumping. Everything is sluggish, so I know it's like figuring stuff out. There it goes. There you go. Maybe he's staying still. Hey, <laughs> he decided he wanted to die. There we go. Alright, wind that rack up. Cataphract, please. Firing. This be good. God, girl, you're a monster. Good. A critical hit. Hmm. Maybe not that far back. Uh. Let's just fire it. Going down. Have a seat. Waiting for orders. So this guy is causing us a little bit of problems. Do you think he could take care of him for us? That hit something good. Sure as hell did. Cataphract goes and then we finish these guys off.
Yeah, I got to say, I mean, this Battletech game is... I still remember playing as a kid. It's just so wonderful to be able to get this. And there's a lot of changes that I would make to this game. But if that meant the game wouldn't be out for quite a while, then I wouldn't even make them. I'd just leave it like this because this is just... It's just amazing to play. Well, thank you. Well, thank you very much. Let's make this easy. There it is. Alright, let's make the second one a bit more of a challenge. All right, contract payment increased by 10%, which actually covers our drop costs, which is actually kind of good. Uh, almost covers them. All right, nice kill dis distribution. A little bit of damage, but not much. Mjolnir mostly took all of it. Uh, mostly took all of it. That's kind of weird. Uh, we didn't get the Cyclops' head. We CT'd him, it looks like. Um, do we got, well, we've only got one Cyclops part, though. Mar regular Marauder parts. AC5. Anything good? Heavy PPCs? Don't have any of them. I know we've been selling these off. That's the thing, right? Um, see, the thing I don't like about this is max range is 600 meters, right? Damage is 90, which is great for 50 heat. If you have an ER PPC, it's hitting for 70 damage uh, at a range of 720, I think, for 52 heat at almost half the weight. So... I don't know. Rotary Pirate Boosted Bap. What the hell is this? Boosted Beagle Active Pro removes the limiters from a generic Beagle Active Pro. Increases the scanning power of any unit is attached to. But turning it on might as well be blaring. Shoot me, bro. I'm looking for you on a loudspeaker. <laughs> <laughs> Plus 35% reduced signature on enemy centers. Oh, man. I don't know who was running those guys, but uh, that's hilarious. Um, any more cockpit mod stuff? You could take this for, for uh, C-Bills, I guess. Um, double heatsink kits. It's Now the uh, XL's better. Oh, TTS Ballistic. That's worth it. Minus 10% heat, heat generated from ballistic weapons fire. Minus 2 recoil. Let's take that. That could actually go on the Orion. Frack Ryan. Um, yeah, I think so. Yeah, Alright, we got a heavy PPC anyway. Alright, there we go. Okay, 21,000. Not bad. Man, that, uh, I gotta say that, um, advanced AMS is fantastic. Okay, so let's do one thing here. Um, what was I thinking of doing? Sorry, I was, between episodes, or be, as we were loading back in, I was just thinking that, uh, how I was gonna run episodes this week. Uh, the, I was gonna run two Jade Falcon Freeborn and then one Night Witches, and then two Falcon Freeborn and one Night Witches until they get caught up together. Uh, now, if I can do more than one episode a night next week, I'll definitely do that. Uh, I can't guarantee it though. Um, so yeah, um, I can only really record one and like one episode out of everything that I'm doing right now a night uh, during the week. Um, if I get a second one, great. But anyway, that's it. That's that. Uh, I was also thinking too. Um, let's have the bays here. Um, where are you? Let's refit this first. Um, so I'm thinking that what we're going to do is to make this a little more interesting is we're going to um, crank up the diff difficulty a little bit. Oh yeah, we had, forgot to repair this rack. Um, we're going to crank up the difficulty a little bit here. So what we're going to do is, uh, where is that? I think it's two tons, is it not? We're going to have to put some patchwork in here to help offset the weight and then figure out what we're going to do here. 
Uh, I think the small, the ER small is going to have to come off. Maybe the tag. Uh, where are you here? TTS ballistic. Drop that in. Cannot be used with TTS battle computer. What the hell are you talking about? Oh, we have TTS weapons. Oh, that's why. Oh, that makes sense. Although we could... That's increased range. We want increased range with these, or do we want recoil reduction? Probably recoil reduction. So that's three times. Let's pull that off, and let's put this on. Right? It gives us a ton left over. What's our heat efficiency? It's pretty darn good, isn't it? Yeah. Um, now, do we have anything else that can help out here? Uh, we didn't pick up much, did we? We've already got that in there. Plus two range, two recoil with range weapons. Bah! Fire control system recoil. No, it's not worth it. No, I think what we've got is good. Now we've got a ton left over. Now the ER is small. Um... We picked up an ER medium, didn't we? Pretty sure we did. I remember saying it was good to actually have those back again because uh, we were running out of ER mediums. Um, I don't see it here anywhere though. Guess I was mistaken. Which is not unusual. You could just go with a medium pulse take half a ton of armor off or ER medium pulse right what's our heat at then actually it's still pretty really good pretty good, pretty really good take two off there two off there and five off there 16 grand yeah that will do that I like the fact that we're I mean we lose the range but the minus 10% heat generated and the minus 2 recoil is awesome. Right? Do we... Actually, do we have an AC... I don't think we have an AC targeting computer left, do we? We used them all, didn't we? No, we do have an AC targeting computer. Because now we don't need... Ooh. This gives us a bonus for called shot. Bonus against overheating targets. Zoom grants accuracy bonus of up to three that grows with range every 210 meters. Fifty points of heat. Threshold thermal vision. Accuracy bonus against heated up targets. Uh I don't know, man. The plus two general targeting just for the auto... Well... Because we're just auto cannon, right? The flat plus two to hit rather than having to rely on heated up targets and stuff in advanced zoom. And the minus one recoil is sweet too, right? These are three recoil... We're going to have minus two for this. We've got to have minus for the pilot as well. But these things are still going to jam. Once we crank up the... Uh, once we crank up the number of shots, right? I think it's recoil of three if you're firing three shots. But if you're firing six, I think it's a recoil of six. So I think maybe it's better to put this in. Call me out if you think I think I'm wrong. I'm gonna go with that. We're gonna save a bit of heat too. Doesn't say it on here. We lose 10% heat for the uh, auto cannons, which isn't a whole lot, but 30 like three heat, not a big deal. All right, let's confirm this. Uh, 
Okay. I feel a little better about that. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to settings and we're going to go to difficulty. And we're going to go to um, mercenary. I'm going to crank it up one, see how it goes. Leave our difficulty variance. Uh, three, maybe? Turn it down a bit so we get closer to our five skull. Sure. Let's try that. Actually, did that save? Or am I just... Did I not save it? Mercenary 3, right? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, guys. Late at night. I'm a little bit slow here. All right, contracts. we got one more contract to do here. And then we can jump systems between episodes. So let's go with this two and a half skull contract. Clean out the mercenaries. See how it's compact. Um, what if we do... That's not going to give us... We could go this route. That's 10. Or 8. Oh, this is a good... Well, you know what? Forget it. We don't need to be in their, their good books that fast. Let's just accept it this way. All right, let's figure out who we're bringing in here. So we have one of our pilots from the second lance is down. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have Hannibal lead in the two vet, the two um, uh, novice warriors here. I'm going to go in a triple lance mission here. And I think um, we're going to run the awesome, uh, the exterminator, and the mad dog. Yeah, let's go that route. See how this one works out today. Alright guys, so just keep in mind that those settings that I just changed actually won't update until, I believe, the uh, next time I load up Rogue Tech. I bet you do. Alright, let's have some fun with these guys. Oh, we got targets already. What the hell? Light weapon carrier, question mark. Um. Sure. Here we go. Bye bye. How's a Thunderbolt 10 a light weapon? Uh, Commander? Unless the carrier itself is the light. Vehicle that's carrying weapons? I don't know. Hey. Hey. What's up, boss? I wonder if they're gonna have reinforcements. What can I do for you? Sprinting. Oh, we got another target. What is why is this guy all of a sudden have such a huge sight range? Oh, because she's got the, uh, yeah, she's got the, um, plus 100 meters view distance. That's right. I forgot all about that. What? No. I remember sticking it in there because we didn't have anything else to, <laughs> to use. Wow, that's, uh, pretty darn low. Sure. Uh, let's not bother with this because they've got uh, they got the anti-missile system. Just fire some lasers off. Waiting for orders. On my way. Um. Engaging target. You never know, right? Reporting negative damage. Yeah, that's all right.
Looks like he's trying to approach for a attack on us guys. Alright, what do we else do we got here? Champion? And Ebola. Okay. Um, yeah, sure, why not? Not gonna do much, but whatever. Order? Whatever. It's just getting close. Oh, I see him. So I'm interested to see how the uh, those new those new settings will take effect the next uh, mission. You know, I'd completely forgotten as we were playing that I could have been changing those all along. So I think if I I'll try to remember for the next series to just slowly increase them as we're going along. Yeah, man. Hammer him. Now that he's used up his AMS, let's uh, hammer him some more. Moving to position. Wow, that was terrible. That's a weird ass looking mech, I gotta say. It always looks light. I hear ya. Uh-huh. Alright, let's do it. Let's hammer this guy. Uh let's use swarm because we can do more damage. Not much more. We actually applying any significant damage to this guy? Besides splash everywhere. I heal. Affirmative. Mech is on fire. Mech is overheating. Um. Yeah. Waiting on you, Commander. I knew he was going to use the AMS on it, and that's fine. You betcha. And let's hammer this guy. Yeah, Commander. Coordinates received. And yep. Same deal, firing. Okay, finally starting breaking through his armor here. Scored a critical hit. Well, his AMS must be really good. What does that Ebola got on him? I don't know. That's actually not a bad fight. I mean, I'm sure we're still going to win, but it's not a bad fight. Taking a little bit of damage here. You know, the one thing I would change, though, is their fire spread rate. I'd make it one once every uh, once every two turns it moves one hex. All right, hammer this guy, please. Yeah. yeah, it is a kill. 
<laughs> I need I need that laugh. That was so awesome. Okay. Hey. Giant. Stay in the trees, please. Going as fast as I can. Yeah, I know you're going as fast as you can, but stay in the trees, please. Alright, fire it all. Yeah, man. Get him in the open. What can I do for you? That's what we need. Don't need to tell me twice. Yeah, we're on fire. That's fine. Hammer him. Got it. Ooh. When I shoot you, you'll take it and like it. I don't know. I'm not really big on the four large lasers on this guy. But we're limited to what we have, so we gotta use what we got. Alright, hammer him with HE again, please. See ya. Swear to God, man, those ATMs, you get somebody out in the open. It's just a, just a brutal thing. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get close to this guy at all. He's gotta come down. Wow, eight points, nice. Good to go. Oh, there we go. Heading out. Direct line of sight, that's what we're looking for. Uh, just go with normal. Confirmed. Just until we got a better chance to hit him. Okay. All right, Hannibal, he's all yours. Let's get him. Yeah, man. Wow, nice. You like we like that. Mission successful. All right, let's see what we can get. 645,000, not bad. Don't know what they, what they had on them. Another iron curtain, eh? We got one of those before, but we never ended up using it, and then we just put it in uh, storage. Um, possibility for patchwork materials. AC5, safe. MRMs. AMS ammo. Nah. I think we go with the patchwork. I mean, we could go with the combat shield. We still got one in storage, though. So, let's go patchwork. I'm sure we can use it for stuff. How many do we have of these? Don't have any, so we're taking the patchwork. Alright, three iron curtain parts and a champion part. Not bad. Alright, 58,000. That's not too bad. Alright, let's make a quick jump now. So, we're going to try and stay on the border. Um, let's get the dire wolf back up here. It's got to be up number one. Awesome, can get repaired. Meal near up. Yeah. Like this. That way these will all be back in nine days. Let's see if we can find a jump within nine days. We've got another 21 days before our financial report, so we're good there. Let's have a look at the star map. I think we got time for one more mission tonight. Let's have a look here. Something on the border. Uh, it's only one skull. We may change this to um, the company rating. Or to, um, yeah, company rating. Just so that we can actually be fighting targets. Corella. 17 days. That's a four skuller. Oh, there we go. That's 18 days. Large population, manufacturing, mega city. Yeah, sure. Let's go here. And then hopefully we can get some uh, free um, St. Ives compact missions here. Let's travel over there. Two jumps, 50 grand, we're good. So at 5.82 million, we're, we're good for a couple of months anyway. But I think, you know, 
once we get uh, contracts with Russell Hag and or not Russell Hag, sorry, Saint Ives Compact. Um, once we get those lists up a little higher, like five skull or stuff like that, then we should have no problem making sea bills. We have enough pilots and everything. Go settle it in the simulator, people. Send them to the simulator. Okay. All right, Wolf, 13 days. Uh, let's just see if they got any weapon mounts. I haven't seen one in the store yet in both series. But, uh, wow, stalker part. Interesting. Okay. Rotary 2, Ultra 2. Um, Protect double heatsink for 250,000. Sure. Missile range sensors. Those are for those are sensors, right? Plus twenty percent increased range with missile weapons. I should just yeah, man. Ah. Uh, see. This would be great for the Yerman Gundir. Just thinking that, like, if he's using the aero systems and LRMs, he can stand even, like, back even further with this. So let's buy that. Why not? New equipment available. So all the money we just made, we just <laughs> just got rid of in a in a jiffy. <laughs> let's have a look at the contracts. Man, I don't know what the hell. All right, we're in trouble here. Um, let's go through our mech warriors. Ah, uh, no contracts, really. What do you need? I guess we do have to go into Rasselhag to be able to get more contracts. All right, uh, Avalanche, you're back in business, eh? Cold Shot Mastery here. Definitely want that. Mech warrior training complete. Uh, Eagle, how are we doing here? Piloting, get some evasion. Thank you. It's always good. Um, Gaucho, are we going to wait for gunnery? Guts is plus two health. This is increased initiative by one. Uh, let's get our initiative up. Training complete. The heavier mechs are piloting, the slower we are, right? So, yes, Commander. Giant, let's get this to here. Evasion is always good. Yeah, we can't buy anything else with her. Okay, now we want... That's overheat threshold, right? And this is what? Unsteady threshold. I think we want the overheat threshold. Training confirmed. It's always good. Alright, who we got left here? Judge? I'm ready for orders. Are you? That's good. Indirect fire, sensor dist... Let's, sen let's take the sensor distance. Our mech warriors are always blackout drunk somewhere. Yes, Commander. All right, six pack. You guys are a fine. Oh, you've almost got uh, one good mission. You get our piloting up. I think one more, maybe. Uh, not sure. Let's figure that out. Okay, let's see if we get a contract here. Anything would be good. Nothing. I could take the Federated uh, Federated Commonwealth for post. Why don't I get? Oh, this is restricted access. That's why. It's going to take a while. Um, do I want to take a Federated Suns mission, though? They already don't like us. I don't think so. Let's make another jump. Let's go into Rasselhag, then, I guess. Find a good uh, five-skull planet here, if we can find one. On the border, three-skull... Four skull bead right there. Fifteen days. Calculating course now, Commander. I thought for sure we would have got like a planetary government mission. Okay, our financial reports dropped. Why is it lower? I'm not going to argue. 
Didn't know why it was lower. The Irewolf's going to be back in a bit. I think we still have some repairs to do on that thing, though. Right? Because the Gauss Rifles got shot off and stuff. Lost the weapon mount. Job's done, Commander. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. What do we got here? Oh, that's contracts. We're not. E are we there yet? We're not even there yet. How can we get contracts if we're not even there yet? Uh, come on. All right, I think we wait on this though. We don't need to run the dire wolf just yet. Yeah, this is going to be a lot of work. A lot of work. We're gonna have to strip a weapon mount from somewhere. I think we put the TTS weapons in here instead of ballistic, because we don't have to worry about recoil and Gauss rifles. Do we? Yeah, there's like no recoil. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of glad the I don't know. I guess the case two survives because the uh, clan armor is still there. Because we lost this arm, right? And the torso, didn't we? I don't know. I know we lost the arm. All right. Well, we're gonna hold off fixing this. We need to get a weapon mount from somewhere. I think the large improved heavy's got to go too. Maybe we put two PPCs in or something. I don't know. All right. Um, let's just keep going. I know we got a plus three weapon mount somewhere. We can strip out of a mech. Okay, let's have a look at the store. Maybe we can buy a weapon mount. Yeah, maybe. Nope. What about a uh, oh, rack five ammo? We've got one left, so we're okay there. No rack twenty ammo, huh? We yep, can't win them all. All right. Let's have a look at the contracts. Five skull repost. Eh? That's it. Pops from save eye contract. Why do? We... Why, why, why? We want to be like on St. Ives' compact side and all of a sudden we got missions against them? Really? <sighs> well, beggars can't be choosers. Let's just take it. Um... We're only going to get a selection of one anyway, so I might as well leave it there. Game with St. Ives, we lose with St. Ives. All right. Mainland's going in. Um, this should be fun. All right, let's get some stuff going here. Uh... Do we want to go this route? Or do we want range? I'm thinking because we're going to be dealing with two lances. We've got to kill them fast. We want to try and stay at range. I think we go this route. And we'll just see how we do here. We got tons of ammo on this guy. All right, let's try this. Whoa, bit of lag there. Okay. We head over here. Yeah, you know what? They gotta rely on being able to see us. So let's get this going this way. Standing 
by. Okay, we're gonna head up On it. this side, I think. Enemy detected. Marauder, Barbarian, Hadamoto Chi. Okay, not so bad. Two barbarians. Commander? Because of course it is. You know. Rolling. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I know I shouldn't be doing that. Wow, only one hit? Alright, we got a tag on that guy. Receiving you. Confirmed. They don't see us. They don't see us. Then we can take them on from here. Is that rack doing 12 damage? Standing by. Acknowledged. I think that rack was doing 12 damage. Alright. 23 damage, eh? Well, this is going to be a fun match. You're going to get shredded, buddy, as soon as you crest that hill. How badly do I want to try and kill this guy? Damage 21, huh? All right, three hits, not bad. Good to go. On my way. I don't want to try and like overdo it with shots. Till we can get a really good chance to hit them. What's up, then we'll rip them a new one. Roger. Keep shooting the guys trying to get close to us. Crest that hill. I want you up here. And then you're dead. Those merms, man, they're not even going to get close to us to be able to use them. As long as we can hammer them. Is he jumping? Does a Marauder jump? Why have I never heard of a jumping Marauder before? The hell? What the hell what kind of mech is this? The test pilot. Wow. That is like the most bizarre thing I've ever seen. How's that advanced equipment? Well, looks like you're the guest. Guest of honor, here it comes. Standing by. Coordinates received. Keep shooting this guy, please. Copy that, Commander. It'll go down eventually. Commander. I 
Oh, we penetrated. Receiving Got it. Yeah, glad I bring, didn't bring the one with the Ultra 20. Okay. Pen somewhere. Thought they normally had two lances against you. They're all melee and it's bad terrain for them to be in. Well, they are within range now. Okay. Wonder what that marauder's gonna do. If he's gonna jump down or what. Is that the TSAM cannon he's firing? Probably, eh? Commander? Can't think of what else he'd be shooting. Can we can't even go more this way? Oh, there's a hill here. Alright, that makes sense. Rolling. Keep shooting this guy, please. Oh, he almost got his leg there. Um. See if you can strip this leg off him. Okay, he's tagged. I'm just using Warlord for the better chance to hit. I go after the leg here. Dial it up to four each. God, really, Griff? Really? Waiting for orders. I know you haven't Roger. run in Orion for quite some time, but come on. Locking in all weapons. See? Six pack can do it. What the hell? I think I hit something good. You sure as hell did, buddy. Okay, Rhino, I want you to own this guy's other leg, please. Or... See if we can torso him. Sure as hell can. Inflicted some heavy damage. I thought he was running an XL engine, that's why I was going for the torso, but I guess he's not. I thought for sure Barbarians had XLs. Probably the gorillas I'm thinking of. Gorillas and bushwhackers, probably. These guys don't really need it. Yeah, torso's gone. A couple of leg hits, too. Yep, T Simp. Alright. Leg damage, Commander. Yep. Huh. Those are probably rocket launchers. Most likely. Alright, that's taken care of. And let's go after this guy next, probably. Ooh. It's already taking some significant damage. Warlord, confirm. See if we can blow this arm his torso off here. I think we got it. Reporting critical hit. Order. 
That hit something good. Aye, aye. Sure did. All right, dial it up. Hammer this guy, please. Not, nah, not quite. That's a hit. Ready for orders. Moving out. That's a lot of heat. Let's drop that off. Fire two. Nice. Figures a flame just engulfed her. Huh. Not liking the meal near. Thought for sure they would have gone after the uh, Orion. You know, being in visual range is not a good idea, buddy. Not a good idea. We got one rack down. You're so lucky. Okay, he's unsteady. He's in. Commander? He's gonna be in the death rows here in a second. Nope. Stay on the side. There we go. I'm there. There we go. Um. Yeah, man. We go after the head. We go after the leg. Oh, oh not quite enough, but he's going down. That's like a really interesting loadout. Confirmed. We're on fire! We can still fire two PPCs though. Oh, yeah. There goes the leg. That hit something good. Yes, Commander. What do you think, buddy? On the move. Think you can strip the other leg off this guy? Well, I think it sure as hell do a lot of damage to him. Ooh, that's a lot of torso damage. Don't know if he's running XL. Probably unlikely. Those weapon systems don't weigh a lot. You probably don't want to be there, buddy. Damage minimal. What happened to my laser AMS? See if we can get the leg. This should be good. Yep, both legs destroyed. There we go. Hope we can salvage that. Do we really care? I don't think we really care if we can salvage yeah. it or not. Alright, rack's dialed up, so let's fire it. This guy doesn't have any damage reduction, so... Let's wind it up. What's up, boss? Well, I don't even think you need to move. I guess you do because you can't shoot anybody. Wow, that low, huh? Well, you still hit though. Damn girl, nice shot. All right, what's this chicken chicken guy doing here? Yeah, we got a bunch of them. I'm not for sure they would have been rocket launchers. I still remember the video the beef did a little while back, where he plays like an AMS. He's got two. This guy's got two swords. Where he plays. Uh, I think it was a raven he had, 
with uh, like dual AMSs, and he uh, went behind enemy lines, and he would like use his jump jets and fly up on top of enemy max missile max heads, and just use the AMS system to shoot down the missiles as they were launching them. It was the most brilliantly funny thing I've, I think I've ever seen him, him do. I mean, the Dire Star is hilarious, but that was even more fun. Alright guys, well, 752,000, not bad. Took a little bit of damage. Everybody got one kill, nice. Almost no experience though, eh? Alright, let's look for some kind of cockpit. They all had DNI cockpits, eh? C3 slave. Oh, gyros. Lamb aluminium armor. Twenty percent jump. These minus ten percent weapon heat generate minus heat per turn. Weight change for point of armor. That's actually kind of really good. Lamb structure is jump distance, structure weight change, dynamic slots. Requires partial wing system to be installed. I don't know. Let's put this in for now. Um, Patrick materials, TSMs, virtual reality pods. No, I think that's what we want. That's kind of cool. Does it require anything though? Doesn't require anything. Does not require anything. So that's awesome. Yeah. All right. Let's have a look here. Thirty-eight thousand damage is not too bad. Not too bad at all. All right. We're gonna end the episode here, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't, well, too bad. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, if you enjoyed the episode, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comments section down below. We got to find some planets to do some good fighting on. I think um, we got to get some wrap up with Rasselhag. I tell you, or else we're all going to be in trouble here. We don't really have anybody we can fight for. So um, yeah, until next time, we'll see you all later.